Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health. Today, bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness. Today, we're going to talk about tendinopathy, tendinitis. This is basically inflammation of the tendon sheath where the musculotendinous junction attaches to the bone structure. And oftentimes, this is because we don't periodize our exercises. So, what does that mean? Periodization means that we take periods of rest in between periods of effort and we increase the workload over time. There's two physiological principles specificity and progressive overload. Specificity basically means you have to train to a goal. So you use acute variables like load or volume uh, or speed or instability to try to change some kind of aspect of your body's physiology. So you have a specific goal in mind and you use specific um, elements to try to create an outcome. Now the goal here is that you would try to drive to a goal and you would be using progressive overload so we're going to stimulate the body's capacities to adapt to the stress that we put on it. And again, metabolic, mechanical, neurologic. Now, the idea here again is that if we undulate the intensities by giving the body time to recover from periods of intensity, then the body can then fortify itself to be more resilient for more force later. Now, why I'm saying this in relationship to tendonitis is that sometimes we just put so much force on our tissues that we create adaptive compression on the joint structure and on the connective tissue because the muscle belly gets too stiff before the tendon can actually catch up. And so it starts to debride and create local inflammation at the tendon attachment point. So oftentimes we feel this as strain sprain stuff when we're training or in the field. And it's really just a matter of not conditioning our body to support the integrity or we've overtrained our muscles so that they got stronger than our tendons could accommodate. So you have to undulate the intensity to give the tendons a chance to catch up to the newfound strength that you make from the muscle groupings. If we don't do that, then we can get, you know, setbacks. And again, tendinopathy, tendinitis, that can last for like six months plus, and it's it is painful, and then it can stop your training. So again, you did all that good work just to go and stop or crash at a stop sign and have to start over again. So again, the idea of periodization and making sure that you give yourself enough time to get the adaptations through the whole spectrum of your body's physiology gives you the chance to keep things stable, safe, and progressive. So you can continue with that specific adaptation and you can progressively overload and get those advantages that come from that. That could be performance um, or aesthetic or functional. We focus on function first. So questions on any of this, remember, reach out to us at admin of fluidhealthandfitness.com. Once again, this is Ryan with Fluid Health, letting you know your body's designed to move, so stay in motion and we'll see you soon.